What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about freshies, but not just any freshies. We're talking about some of the better ones that are available from the Middle Eastern house known as Paris Corner. So no secret, I have quite a few fragrances from them at this stage. Definitely one of my favorite clone brands because they don't just make clones, but for the most part, they do. They have their own little twist, little spin. They're very affordable. Most of the time they perform really well and sometimes they're extremely accurate. And like I said before, sometimes they have their own little twist, and I can appreciate that about the brand. So in this video, we're talking about five specifically. Today's scent of the day inspired this topic in the first place. So let's get into them. Stay tuned. Before we dive into this, I'll have links down below with a discount code because all five of these fragrances can be found from Aroma Concepts down below, which I did get all of these from Aroma Concepts at some point or another over the last year. So let's get into the first one. Starting with the one that sparked the video topic idea, this is Kahila Platinum from Paris Corner. This is, in my opinion, a carbon copy of Le Beau Eau de Toilette from Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is literally right here within arm's reach. It is a direct clone of this. I get the exact same notes, just as you indicated, simplistic. It's bergamot, citrus freshness, sweet powdery tonka bean with a nice tropical coconut feel. Performance is about what and what. I kind of get in the six, seven hour range in longevity. Not a really loud fragrance, but I've had it on for several hours and I do continue to get light whiffs of it here. And they actually have nine sprays on, four on the forearms five around the neck for those that may ask which is on the heavier side because it is a fresher fragrance hence the topic of the video so if you're interested in getting Le Beau Eau de Toilette at a much more discounted rate basically or if you have a bottle and you'd like to get another bottle maybe on the more affordable side to kind of extend the life and just have more juice because you wear it pretty often either way you might want to take a look at Kahila Platinum from Paris Corner. This next one's actually fresher than what it's a clone of because it, it's a little bit fresher at the top. It's a little bit more clean and musky in the dry down. It doesn't have as much leather or woods as the original. It's not as sweet and fruity. It's more of the lemon, the bergamot, and stuff like that. We're talking about Emir Sidrat Essence, which is a clone of Mancera Sidrat Boise. Another one that I did a full review on quite a while back. This stuff's really good, guys. Because <sighs> Sidrat Boise is one of my all-time favorites. It's a top 10 fragrance in this collection for me personally and this when i'm in the mood for something fresher or want the scent profile in the highest of heat this is actually better to wear than the original because again it's more on the citrus less on the sweet fruits and then more on the clean musk in the dry down and less on the heavier notes like the leather accord and the dense woods like cedar uh beautiful beautiful fragrance i would say it's every bit of like 80 to 85 percent accurate to the scent profile because those tweaks and twists to the formula, make it different enough, but clear as day they were going for Cidrat Boise, but this is kind of a must try if you're a fan of Cidrat Boise and you want it real, real cheap, we're talking $30 price range, 30 to 40 bucks, you wanna check out Amir Cidrat Essence. Now this one surprised me, I don't have the original. This is a clone of Mega Mare, and it's called A Chaos in the Ocean, and it will surprise you. At least it surprised me. I thought it was just a very synthetic opening, but it's just that sharp. Very, very sharp opening to this one. You can literally see the notes right here. So it's a very salty, musky, sharp citrus type of fragrance. And it does calm down. But up top, it's very abrasive and in your face. That's why I thought, wow, this is very synthetic. No, Actually, the more you wear it, the more you understand what they're going for here. The first time you spray it, it might come across that way to you because it definitely did to me. Performance is well above average. This is bordering beastly type of territory and longevity and projection. This stuff is actually much better than I initially thought in my first impressions. For those of you that saw the haul video when I got this one in, it was kind of, you know, better than good, very good type of range. You know, pretty good rating. Didn't blow me away. Wasn't my, you know first or second choice in that haul video but as time has progressed out in this heat especially now that I'm in the humidity again I really appreciate this fragrance because like I said it's all about salty aquatic clean musk with sharp citrus it's hard to not like especially in a tropical climate like I am so I don't I don't know exactly what Mega Mare is all about I have to admit I have not tried the original but 
I would assume it's a higher quality version of this and this right here. It's actually a great, great, great fragrance. Worth trying if you like the clean, musky aquatics that are very salty. This is a Chaos in the Ocean in the Amir range from Paris Corner. Now this next one, I'm not sure if it's a clone of anything. I would assume, I think it's an original from them. But either way, it's a great fragrance. It's very fruity, very airy and watery. There is a fruity sweetness to this while still being citrus fresh, fruity fresh, clean and musky with bright juicy florals. This is called Kisa. So Kisa is just lovely. I got this one not that long ago. I haven't had it for a long time. And this might be the best one of the bunch, to be honest with you. If I was ranking this, this probably would have been number one. Um, I haven't smelled anything else like it. You have to like citruses and florals. It's a very fresh, fruity, citrus aromatic meets juicy floral. And when I say juicy floral, I mean it gives this watery feel without just a load of aquatic notes and, and marine tones and stuff like that. It just manages to be very, very watery fresh without being sickeningly sweet, but it has a nice enjoyable moderate sweetness very unisex everybody can enjoy this one you do have to like florals like lang lang and violet and rose and some white florals there's a variety of floral notes here but it never comes across as really all that flowery or super feminine not the most masculine scent profile don't get me wrong but the freshness and the watery nature of this really takes hold and i really think everybody can enjoy this you just got to give it a chance and performance is definitely well above average not quite a beast but it is pretty strong. And like I said, as far as I know, it's an original, but it could be a clone of something. I'm just not sure what. This is Kissa from Paris Corner. Now, admittedly with this last one, it's the weakest performer, but it's also the absolute freshest fragrance. I saved the freshest for last of these five. It is Paris Corner's Emir Trillium, which is their take on Elysium Parfum Cologne. As you can clearly tell by the bottle, they did knock the bottle off. That is a little cheesy, don't get me wrong, but the scent profile is amazing because it's so fresh, airy, sharp and metallic. The grapefruit here is amazing. Little baby sprays. <sighs> but the smell, the smell, and, and it's very fresh, woody. Vetiver smell in the dry down, clean, crisp, musky, metallic, a little inky. The black currant does show through here, but it's mainly grapefruit. Blast and burst of sharp, bright, mouth-watering citruses. I can't help but love this one. It's the weakest performing Elysium clone that I have, but it is the one that I wear the absolute most. Three to four hours at best in longevity. You do have to refresh pretty often, but if you're the type that likes, just loves this scent profile, and maybe you don't want to spray Elysium to go to the gym, because it's really expensive. Maybe you don't want to spray Elysium just to go run errands and go grocery shopping, because it's ex very expensive. Maybe you want to save that, for, save that for your work days, or out and about days when you're going to be gone for many hours, but you love the scent profile so much that you want something affordable that does the job when you don't need a ton of longevity. That's exactly what I use this for. Fresh out the shower, at the gym, running errands. It is ideal. That is why I wear it the most because I have those situations the most. So functionality when it comes to things that smell like Elysium, super high level functionality for me personally in my fragrance wardrobe in my everyday life. So anybody that has a similar lifestyle, you might want to take a look at this one because it's the freshest, it's the sharpest, it's the most metallic, and it's one of the cheapest. And dare I say the best smelling, it's a mere trillium. Well, that's the five that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Of these five, what have you tried? Do you have any experience with any of these? I'm pointing right here because they're all literally right there on this little shelf. Uh, very curious. Like I said, I have links to Aroma Concepts down below if you're interested in checking any of these out. And I will say, until next time, if you get your hands on any of these and you give them a spray now, there's always that chance you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.